In less than a second, you can place your finger on the front of your iPhone and unlock it. Have you ever thought about the actions that are happening behind the screen in order for that to happen so fast? What if we told you that your brain could do the same transaction in an even shorter period of time? Today we're telling you about 15 surprising things you didn't know about your body, ranging from your head to your toes, and we're betting you'll be almost speechless by the end. Before we start telling you things you don't know, we'll make sure you remember how to make use of the things you do. Use one of your hands to click on the subscribe button now. There, we bet you did that without even thinking about it. Your bones can self-destruct. Eating foods rich in calcium is something we've been encouraged to do since birth. Much like getting our five a day, avoiding fatty foods, and not consuming too much sugar, calcium has been an encouraged element of our diet for as long as we can remember. And why shouldn't it have been? It strengthens our bones, right? Well, you'll want to get up and have a tall glass of milk as soon as this video is finished, because not consuming enough calcium can actually lead your bones to self-destruct. Around 99% of the body's calcium deposits are stored inside our bones, and it's there for a very good reason. Our bones are constantly reforming and rely on this calcium to ensure their health. If not enough calcium is inside the bones, they start to crack and can easily break. Occasionally, if they're really lacking this essential nutrient, they can fall apart completely. Your feet can change size. If you assumed that once you got to a certain age, your feet would stop growing, then you'd be wrong. Sadly, we're here to tell you that if you bought an expensive pair of shoes on the basis that you could wear them for the rest of your life, you should make the most of them now, because who knows just how long it'll be until your feet grow. We're not telling you that one day you'll go to bed with size 7 feet and wake up with size 9, but feet can actually grow ever so slightly as we age. As a positive, this does mean that if your expensive shoes are slightly too big, there's a hope that one day they might be perfect. Our feet tend to get skinnier with age, which makes them shrink, but problems like arthritis mean they could grow. Basically, buy any shoe you like because who knows how our feet will turn out in the long run. Is your belly button special? Did you know that only 1% of the population has an outie belly button? There might be a good reason as to why we've always found them a bit weird looking, and that reason can boil down to the fact that they're actually a lot rarer than we once thought. But outy belly buttons aren't formed from anything ultra special or out of this world. They're simply due to extra scar tissue. There are a few cases when an outie is something to worry about, but we're here to reassure you because if yours was in danger, you'd have known when you were very young. The dangerous type of outy belly buttons is due to an umbilical cord hernia, which happens when your stomach muscles don't fuse together at birth. But if this was the case, your doctors would have noted it throughout your first year of life. So we repeat, it's nothing to fuss over. Unique Tongue Prints If you've got one of the newest iPhones, you probably use your fingerprint to unlock it. We've pretty much all accepted that this is the done thing nowadays, and we're not half as impressed as our parents seem to be. But your fingerprint isn't the only way of unique identification. Although it's certainly the only way you can unlock your phone for the time being. Aside from your fingers, your tongue also has a unique pattern on it. In fact, it's proving to be so useful that Chinese researchers are putting together a database of 3D tongue images. We already use our tongues for talking and being able to contort them into many different vowel sounds is something we all take for granted. But while we're totally on board with this idea, we think we'll stick to unlocking phones with a fingerprint for the time being because we're not sure how hygienic it would be to start licking a phone every few seconds. Body Position and Memory when studying for a test, you probably have some set revision techniques. Maybe you practice by repeating phrases over and over, or maybe you have to write it all down. One thing you might not have tried is adjusting your body position. We're not talking about doing cartwheels every time you try to store some new facts in your brain, but sitting in a different position or holding your hands above your head has been proven to slightly alter your ability to memorize things. This method works especially well if you sit or stand in a position related to what you're trying to learn. So if you're learning facts about muscles, try stretching your arms or legs at the same time as reading through your notes. You'll be more likely to remember them if you're contracting the individual muscle groups at the same time, rather than slouching over your desk. Your fight or flight capabilities. Every so often we read a story in the news about a mother whose baby got trapped under a car wheel, who somehow managed to lift the car entirely on her own in order to get her baby to safety. You've probably laughed at the story thinking that it's nothing more than an exaggeration or a pure lie, but it is occasionally possible to have this superhuman strength. The science behind this work of magic is called the fight or flight response. It happens in a state of shock when your body releases epinephrine at a high speed. In the example we've just given, the body has kicked into fight response. 
Back in historical times, it would have been more commonly seen when being attacked by an animal or taking part in a fight, and it's one cool trick our bodies haven't phased out during evolution. The flight response is our ability to run away really quickly, like when we see a huge spider crawling out from under your bed. The Fingerprint Myth We've already established that fingerprints are great for identification, and more importantly, being able to unlock your phone half a second faster than before. But now we're here to tell you something not so great. We're pretty sure that back in the day when humans were evolving, fingerprints weren't initially designed to help us access social media faster. So why do we have them? Some people think they're useful for gripping things, and they're partially right, but not in the way you're probably thinking. It's true that when our fingers expand in the water, it is to help us grip things, but it turns out that our normal dry hands aren't actually quite as good at gripping things as we once thought. Well, our fingerprints aren't quite as adept for the process, we should say. Instead, they're thought to exist to prevent blisters forming and to help with tactile sensing. Motion sickness is actually your insides moving. Now here's a wild fact for you. Motion sickness isn't actually caused by the world moving around you, but by your insides all moving at once. When we say moving, what we really mean is that your central nervous system thinks everything is moving at once. It's when your body gets confused by varying messages from all your different body parts, and it has no idea how to react. So next time you're feeling sick on a boat, you should blame your inner ears, your eyes, your skin pressure receptors, and your muscle receptors because they're the ones to blame here. Yes, we know that the boat is shaking and we can't focus, but at least consciously we're aware of it. Your body, on the other hand, is simply trying to make sense of what's going on at once, which is why during this process you might start to feel a bit ill. Some people just can't let go. Out of sight, out of mind? Those are words we think of every time something embarrassing happens or whenever we feel bad about something. Most of the time, it works. If we want to forget a particularly bad moment, we like to think that a few years down the line, it won't even cross our minds any longer, until a family member brings it up next Christmas, of course. But some people don't have this ability to push things out of their minds, or rather they have the super ability to remember every single detail that goes on in their life, whether they like it or not. The talent is officially known as highly superior autobiographical memory, and is seen by some as a curse rather than a blessing. Sure, it could be a great addition when it comes to studying for a difficult test, but would you really want to remember all those embarrassing childhood memories? A big problem for unlocking iPhones. If you've been trying to think up ways to overthrow the revolution of fingerprint recognition, we've got an answer for you. However, it's not necessarily one you'll want to hear. You see, there are a few people who will never find themselves at the hands of the law dipping their fingerprints into ink for further tests because some people don't actually have fingerprints. Well, they have fingerprints, but they don't have the same unique coating across the prints as the rest of us. The condition is called Negley syndrome, and it affects around 1 in 4 million people. So it's not very common. You might be thinking it's an advantage to be able to keep your thumbprint to yourself, but unfortunately, Negley syndrome comes with a whole host of other problems. These include a lack of enamel on the teeth, fragile nails, and dry skin. The worst part is there is no cure. Listen out for your stomach. Everyone hates getting hungry. There's a reason why the term hangry has become so popular, and that's because an awful lot of us get angry when we're hungry. Usually we try and hold it in and not snap at people until we've eaten, but more than a few of us are guilty for letting rip before we've been fed. One of the key symptoms of hunger is a growling stomach, but did you know that noise is actually your stomach getting angry at you for not feeding it? You might have just assumed it meant your stomach was empty, but the noise is created when the muscles repeatedly contract in your stomach and intestines. When you're hungry, your body basically decides to help any existing food along that might be in the intestines, and the noise is the waves of contractions as the food passes by. If that's not an excuse to snack more, we don't know what is. Your eyes are better than an iPhone. You might be confused by this one, because let's be realistic here. You can't make phone calls with your eyes, you can't send photos with them, and all they're pretty much useful for is seeing, right? Well, that much may be true, but what they can see is in far better definition than even the latest iPhone's capabilities. Before we tell you just how impressive the resolution of your eye is, we'll give you some comparisons. The new iPhone has a camera with 8 megapixels. A top of the range camera can have up to 75 megapixels. And your eyes? They have a whopping 576 megapixels in total. Admittedly, we only use around 7 of these megapixels but our eyes have the potential to show us so much more. So next time you're trying your best to capture an Instagram-worthy photo, 
Remember that the clearest and most impressive one you'll take will actually be just saved in your memory instead. Your brain is the best computer. What are the options you weigh up when buying a new laptop? Do you look at its storage capacity? Maybe you want one with a good webcam so you can take photos. Or perhaps you're after a model that's really fast so you can play computer games. Whatever you're after, we're here to show you that the fastest computer out there is actually your brain. We bet you're looking a bit confused here, but scientists have been attempting for years to create a computer that holds the same abilities as the human brain. They finally managed to make something similar, and it's called the K and designed by Fujitsu. But if you were to compare feature by feature, the brain would still win. For example, it takes the equivalent of 10,000 homes worth of electricity to power the K, compared to the human brain, which just needs enough water and sleep and perhaps the odd banana for extra energy. Exploding Head Syndrome Don't worry, an exploding head has nothing to do with its energy capacity, in case you were starting to fret based on the last fact. Instead, exploding head syndrome is brought on by loud noises like gunshots, cymbal crashes, or you guessed it, explosions. However, it's not half as horrible as it sounds and isn't actually associated with pain. Neither, strangely enough, is it associated with noise because the sounds we've just described attack the individual suffering inside their head. What we're saying is that the noises are simply imaginary, although we bet they definitely don't feel like it if you get woken up at 3 a.m. because you think cymbals are crashing around you. It's a very rare condition and scientists aren't really sure what causes it or exactly how to treat it. So tonight before you go to sleep, Make sure to thank your brain for keeping quiet whenever you needed to. Your joints might predict the weather. If someone tries to tell us what the weather is going to be like over the next few days, we usually laugh. Unless it's coming from a reliable source like the Weather Channel, we don't really take anyone seriously who says they can predict if we're going to see rain or shine for the rest of the week. You can keep on being skeptical of those who try and predict in front of you, unless they're a weatherman of course, but some people do get more of an inkling of the weather before it appears. Those with sore joints might start to feel a little achier as the weather cools down, and the heat and humidity can also affect people with this problem. Which means that if you always used to laugh at your grandma for telling you a storm was approaching, you probably owe her an apology. Strangely enough, migraine sufferers can sometimes also predict the weather in the same manner. We bet you're just as amazed to hear these facts as we were, and it's made us appreciate what our bodies can do in a whole new light. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we're looking forward to seeing you again next time. Thanks!